that the ultimate objective of our individual and collective endeavors is to enrich... He was called the kingmaker because of his ability to endorse would-be presidents. His own presidency is seen as the most successful and stable in recent Philippine history. Fidel Ramos was a graduate of the West Point Military Academy in the United States. Upon his return, he joined the Philippine Army and served in the Korean and Vietnam Wars. Ramos was a cousin of former President Ferdinand Marcos, who appointed him as head of a joint police and military agency which was established during the martial law years in the 1970s. The presidential election of 1986 was marred by allegations of large-scale fraud. I came here to support. Ramos defected to the opposition with then-Defense Minister Juan Ponce Enrile. That led to the revolution of 1986, a people power uprising that resulted in the downfall of the Marcos leadership. By virtue of the powers vested in me. During Cory Aquino's presidency, Ramos served as her Secretary of National Defense and Military Chief of Staff. Ramos ran for president in 1992 and won in a bitterly contested election. He was a reluctant politician, but when he became one, he completely embraced it, including all the traditional ways that sometimes affected his uh, own ambitions for the country. He encouraged the Filipino nation to look beyond its shores. His administration's main thrust was economic growth and strengthening liberal democracy. He was known for his Philippines 2000 program to turn the nation into a more industrialized country. Under his administration, a peace agreement with the Moro National Liberation Front, a Muslim separatist movement, was signed in 1996. And he pursued a comprehensive reform program which aimed to protect agricultural communities across the country. But he was widely criticized for his reinstatement of the death penalty and his proposal to change the constitution to shift to a parliamentary government. And in 1998, after serving for six years, Ramos stepped down as president. I wrote the book. The administrations that came after him faced corruption scandals and military coups. He spent the last few years of his life writing and advocating for an independent foreign policy in the Philippines. For a country that's seen its share of instability and political upheaval, Fidel Ramos' time in office will likely be remembered as a time of peace and prosperity.